Drew met with Seth. Said, something I've been wanting to give you since last Saturday. Offers his hand. Seth shakes. Drew says, well, you know, I'm going to do what uh, what I've always done. Fight my way back up to another title shot. And Seth says, I know you will. We had Tegan Knox beating Piper Niven with a crucifix. Absolutely, positively, zero heat for this match. They were completely dead. And Tegan gets a win. It wasn't much of a match either. Over one half of the tag team champions. And instead of playing it up like they're going to get a tag title match, they're playing it up like, now Tegan wants Chelsea. So I guess that's coming up. Well, maybe that's going to set up a tag title match down the line. I mean, Natty's out there with her. If if she beats both of them. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's a process. Miz is doing a promo about his match with Gunther at Survivor Series. And Ivar shows up and says, Miz, you're a joke and a clown. You'll be lucky to get through me tonight. And then Bronson shows up and says, you're both lucky that uh actually he goes the luckiest guy is is gunther because he doesn't have to deal with me and so bronson and ivar get into this big argument valhalla gets between them yeah they basically said if you're so lucky he already beat you (laughs) yeah i cannot wait for bronson and ivar that sounds awesome actually could be pretty good then they're gonna probably do it next week right i sure hope so or a week you know i mean they're certainly setting it up tomaso champa and ludwig kaiser so uh the match was absolutely. I mean, the match was good. The finish was so shitty. So they they re- they wrestled well, but they didn't have much heat. So they're having this match. Vinci ends up interfering, and so the referee says, "Get out of here! You're ejected from ringside." So, so he, he comes leaves. Back. And then, yes, at the end of this match, Ciampa hits a jumping knee, and Vinci runs down to the ring to the ringside area, and he lays out Gargano. The referee is looking right at this guy. That he banned from ringside. He has just come back. Well, as he's looking at him, uh, Ciampa gets rolled up by Kaiser. And this damn referee turns around and he counts the pin. The and even the announcers are like, the, it, what a shitty call by this referee. Why did he count the pin? I don't know. Yeah. But it was one shitty finish after another on the show. That was another one. So we had uh, the Judgment Day backstage. And they're asking about Damien saying he's the leader. And Damien said, listen... I got hot. You guys know I didn't mean that. And Reese says, well, you know what, though? We do need a leader at War Games, and I think Priest is the man for the job. And so Finn and Dumb are a little taken aback, but they say, all right, that's so, fine. So, so he's going to take the heat when they lose. Yes. Yeah. And so then Finn says, how about we take care of that other thing right now with JD? And Priest says, we're really going to do this right now? And Reese said, yes, he's in medical because he took a shot for you. You'd be in medical. You wouldn't be getting a tag team title shot if it wasn't for him. Not tag team title shot. You wouldn't be be, be tag team champions because you missed the, sh- the match. Yeah, you wouldn't be getting the the tag. Well, the tag you wouldn't be doing the tag. Yeah, you wouldn't be getting the shot. You'd be getting. Yes. You wouldn't be in the match. Yeah. So Finn says, "Come on, the guy's proven himself." And Priest says, "Fine, but in fact, let me go handle this because he's earned it." So he goes off to to put him into the Judgment Day. We had Zia Lee versus Indy Hartwell. And uh, after a night of shitty finishes, we do a clean finish, but the fans find it to be a very shitty finish, which is once again the knockout finish. The spin kick knockout. They've, they've but, but done it didn't... this a few times. Okay, well, here's the thing. The fans the... still absolutely hate it. Okay, well, here's the, here's the thing. Number one, it didn't look good. No. Like, we see so much. Like, to make this work, it's got to be a really devastating, well-timed move, and this was not. So the finish... You know whether the idea is good or not, and it's, and you know the crowd hasn't really been buying it anyway. But in this one, it not, it did not look good at all. So that and the crowd wasn't buying it, and it's Zia Lee and Indy Hartwell, and and they're not over. You know, even though they're trying to push Zia Lee. Um, so I mean, the, you know, it was a short match. It was you know basically just to build up Zia Lee for Becky Lynch. So then Becky comes out afterwards, and she says, we're not doing it on your time. We're doing it on my time. And they get a brawl. Zaya bails, and then Becky says, I got it cleared. Next week, it's you and me. Miz is warming up. Up walks Gunther. And because the ring is sacred, he cannot call this man The Miz. He must call him Mike. He Might says, well call him Mike. congratulations, Mike. To everybody's surprise, you won last week, but the games are over. And so Miz tries to cut this valiant babyface promo, rambles about his resume, and Gunther says, no matter what happens tonight, 
It will not compare to the beating of a lifetime you will get at Survivor Series. Shana met with Zoe. So he's going to get a beating of a lifetime probably. Oh, he will. Yes, he will. Yeah. We had a segment with the women to set up Raquel and uh, Naya for next week. That would be great. Yeah. And then uh, we had Miz and Ibar. And uh, this Ibar is great. And oh, yeah. the story is that Miz is trying to rebuild himself to main event player status. Mm-hmm. And so he's trying these moves. Like he tried a diving Hurricane Rana, which didn't look all that good, and tilt a world DDT, and, you know, uh, run up the ropes bulldog. He's doing all these moves. Bronson comes to ringside. And uh, after the break, Ibar misses a splash. Uh, Miz hits a DDT, gets a near fall. And then he's going for a middle rope skull-crushing finale. Ivar hits a world's strongest slam off the middle rope, but he kicks out. And then Bronson distracts Ivar. Miz goes underneath him, power bombs him out of the corner, and pins him with his feet on the ropes. Mm -hmm. So the story here is that Miz wants to prove that he will do anything it takes to win. Yes, he will cheat to win because my no, nobody believes nobody believes he can beat Gunther in a fair fight. So well, the funny to, thing is, even he's with got the, to do underhanded tactics to have a chance. Even this finish, I was like, this guy ain't beating Gunther. God forbid. Well, come on, nobody thinks he's beating Gunther, and, you know, and if he does, it'd be a terrible decision. It would be horrible. Yeah. But I mean, afterwards, you, Bronson you, you, and Ivar hit the ring and smashed each other, and God, that was great. I mean, here's the deal. You have a guy hold a championship for that long. The key at this point, he's already held it this long. The key now is to use him to get somebody new over. Yes. The Miz is not new. I mean, they might do it, but I think that would be, you know, to me, it's like this is a golden opportunity to have an upset by somebody new. So um, whoever that will be, you know, they, they seem to completely have dropped the Gable thing. Yeah, they've uh, they've dropped that seems, but they can always bring it back. Yeah, Priest met with JD and presented him with the jacket, and then Finn showed up and said, "You know, we'll celebrate on a different day. It's got to wait. Get out of here before Pierce goes nuts. We got to get out of the building." So we had Gunther meeting with Kaiser and Vinci, and Gunther tells Vinci, "Well done," but Kaiser thinks he's talking about him, and then Gunther says, "I wasn't talking about you." Vinci, he says, congratulations, you won that match for Imperium tonight. And then Vinci's all happy, and he leaves, and Kaiser's furious. And then Kaiser turns around, and I swear to God, he ran into Jinder Mahal and Indu Cher. Mm-hmm. No, they, they're, 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 they're back looking, for the 95th time to not they, ever do they, anything. They, they, they're, always, they're always there. They just never use them. Well, here we go. Maybe they're going to feud with Imperium. I I don't know, man. I've seen them come back to, uh, you know, do their comeback like 15 times now. Oh, yeah. And they never You're... actually come back. Well, they no, they'll, they'll do a match here and there, and then they're going again. Great. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. Then we had Cody and Jay versus Priest and Finn for the tag titles. Everyone from War Games banned from ringside. And, uh, you know, we talked about this earlier. Long match. The match is good. But, uh, you know, the fans just want to see comebacks and they want to see big moves there at the end. And, you know, they start doing the stuff at the end. Cody actually ran into the post and broke an LED panel off. Yeah. Which I actually thought was going to play into the finish, but it didn't. So Priest is choke slamming him in the apron. Jay hits the big flip dive. And as he's outside, he looks up and all of a sudden, hey, there's Drew McIntyre. And Drew hits him with a claymore and he throws him into the ring. And Finn covers Jay for the pin. And uh, Drew retreats up the ramp. He's met by Rhea. She shakes his hand as the show goes off the air. And so I guess next week is the uh, the big angle, as you noted, presumably to, uh, to bring back Randy Orton after all this time. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he's back so right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I think the doctor told him not to come back. But there's... You know, I mean, he wanted to come back. And what a way to come back. War games. Yeah. I guess he can go in last. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, he he should. Yeah. You should build to the pop. Yeah. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.